Hey everyone, Andy Henderson, Remax Estate Agent and Remax Scotland Ambassador here. Have you ever wondered what you should do before you put your property on the market? In this video, I'm going to discuss four things that I think you should do to ensure that you achieve the maximum sale price when going to market with your property. The first thing is to declutter. This is something that needs to be done in order for a buyer to see the actual size of a, a living room, a bedroom, or, or any room for that kind of matter. Uh, for example, if somebody comes in and the room is full with furniture and clutter, then it's difficult for them to see, one, the, the size and the space in the room, and two, it's difficult for them to envision their furniture and things in your home, which is essential for them to put in that all-important offer, because at the end of the day, they need to be able to see themselves living in your home. The idea of this is for the property to look as minimalistic as possible, almost the bedrooms like a hotel room, same as the bathrooms, so things like toothbrushes, you wanna make sure that they are definitely stored away under the sink or in a cupboard somewhere. Um, so that's the first one, is to declutter. Number two is to prepare the home for going on the market. So this involves things like paint touch-ups. If there's a mark on a wall, give it a paint touch-up. It makes a massive difference. Um, or any maintenance issues, if there's maybe a leak in the roof, make sure you get a roofer around to check that out because things like this can put people off. Um, if it shows up in the home report, it can definitely put a buyer off uh, because they may think it's a bigger issue than what it is. So it's definitely worth getting rid of all the little bits and pieces that need to be done before you put the property on the market, just to make sure that it doesn't scare anyone away. Number three is to improve your home's curb appeal. So this is important because the external of a property is the first impression. So if we make sure that that looks good, when they then get inside, uh, it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the property. So things that you can do to improve your home's curb appeal is paint the front door or make sure that the windows are clean from the outside as well as the window frames and things. Uh, another good one that you could, you could do is to power wash the driveway. Again, it makes a massive difference. And the last one, number four, kind of leads on from the last one, curb appeal, is to make sure that the gardens are neat and tidy. Now, a well manicured garden can add thousands of pounds onto the sale price of a property. It means that somebody doesn't have to come in and start messing about with, uh, with landscaping and things like that. So just make sure that the, that the grass is cut, that maybe there's some flowers and things, just to make it look um, a bit better. So that's my four tips. If anyone has any questions about anything I've talked about, please get in touch. I'd love to help you out. If you're also thinking about selling, get in touch. Um, I'd love the chance to pop around to your property and have a chat about any questions you may have about the home sale process. We can go over the value and things and we'll also talk a bit about my service um, and what I can do to help you get the highest possible price in the shortest possible time. Take care folks, have a great day and I'll speak to you all soon.